Hello and welcome. This is Margarita Benitez again, and this short video will be on digital imaging. Here are the vocabulary words for this week. Vector, raster, DPI as in dots per inch, PPI as in pixels per inch, resolution, copyright, creative commons, and public domain. The two main digital imaging software programs you will be learning this semester are Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. These programs use very different ways of creating digital images. Photoshop creates raster graphics, while Illustrator uses vector graphics. What is the difference? As you can see in this image, raster graphics made in Photoshop are created using pixels, which are small blocks of color. Vector graphics created in Illustrator use math to generate the images. This image presents the difference between raster and vector. You can see that the vector image on the right looks cleaner and sharper. Vector images can be scaled larger because they are math. The same vector file can be made for a business card and then scaled up to a billboard with no loss in resolution or quality. Raster images images in Photoshop can never be made larger without making it look pixelated. Never make images larger in Photoshop. They never look good. Here's another example of what a raster image looks like versus an illustrator image. The same image in photo, raster in Photoshop, and as vector file in Illustrator. And another one. You can see that images in Illustrator have an illustration quality to them. Here are a couple more vector graphics from Illustrator. This is also an illustration done in Illustrator. This is what a talented artist can do with the right tool. DPI and PPI, these are terms that sometimes are used interchangeably. DPI, dots per inch, refer to actual printed media. For example, inkjet printers print dots of color, which our eyes then perceive as solid colors. Inkjet prints are described with dots per inch. Pixels per inch refers to monitors and screens, the pixels per inch that make up the resolution of the monitor and create images on the screen. Resolution refers to the pixel count used to create an image. When we start files in Photoshop, we need to put in a resolution for the file. The resolution is the DPI or PPI we need to use. For example, if you are making a file to print, you would start your Photoshop file at 300 DPI because that is the correct print resolution to print at to get a nice quality printout. The higher the resolution, the better the quality of the image. There are different resolutions you can use depending on your output. You always want to start files at 300 DPI in Photoshop if you want to print it out. Copyright and Creative Commons are licenses that are used for images that dictate ownership and usage of images. You will need to use Creative Commons files in your projects. Creative Commons images usually only ask for attribution, which means you need to give credit to the person that took the image. When you work on your projects for this class, make certain to write down the URL address for the images so that you can list the images and where you got them from for your papers or in case we ask you for them. So where to find Creative Commons images? Go to search creativecommons.org. This will allow you to search either Google or Flickr for images that you can reuse. Here is what the site looks like. Enter a search term, uncheck use for commercial purposes, and then click on either Google Images or Flickr to search. Any written assignment for this course must be in APA style. Familiarize yourself with APA style or if unfamiliar Seek help from the Writing Center. Thank you for watching the video. Let us know if you have any questions and see you in the labs.